on a disc on a one meter. Alright. Should hit the thing before you fly over it. the door right now. What's that? That's a current pushing you. <coughs> it's pushing you the same way both times you've come up. the other green cable that we saw before. Yeah, I think I'm right in front of it. I think you're getting close, but you're not close enough. You're not hitting it. Uh, it's going. Yeah. It's hard when you can't see. But I think we've modified our um, <coughs> goals. So the priority is obviously plugging this one in. And then we've staged one for recovery. Uh, I don't think we're going to get to the second one. So, But it, that instrument is currently plugged in and working. So we hopefully can get a visual of it. But even I think we're more likely to knock something Remember off. Remember where you were before when you were up Accomplish it. anything. You can see just up so enough to come up. So the, is it launch outside yeah touch it mm -hmm. then you know where you are you're literally gonna have to come up and touch it and come down like you did before I'm okay. not so I'm totally joking when I say you're too close <laughs> if you hit it <laughs> I don't mean hit it but you know you're gonna have to come up and just you know, bump it yeah. you don't have to actually bump it but you have to see it okay but we can't see it we have no chance to plug it in See the magnum right now. So watch your sonar too, because I mean that's your sonar is your friend. When you come up, you drift away from it, and you can tell on your sonar if you're too high, because you'll start losing the picture. So I mean, you gotta come back down a little. If you're doing it right, uh, in between sweeps, the ROV doesn't move. So that means you've figured out where the current and such is your you know, your holding position. Your 
is our victim. Yeah, right there. Just to your left a little and come down. Forward and down there. Oh. Yeah, you can fly that magnum on there if you want. That was the goal. Danny can grab it again. Get a good grab this time, Danny. A full, full on bite. So Jake can help you. He can slide forward in the mud and get it right up on there. We're going to need it to pry against when we go to make that connection. Otherwise, we'll just push ourselves around in the mud. I think that's a bite there. Are we touching? Yeah. Yeah, take a good bite. Do you got jaw lock on? Jaw lock. I definitely need jaw lock. Latched. Or attached. So now bring the um, shoulder right on the magnum a little bit. Shoulder right and wrist left. Put that connector as close to the camera as you can. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Give me something. Yeah, I'm gonna mess it up. Where's the button? I want wrist left. Shoulder right. Okay, I can Your dead stick, now. Jake. Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, put just uh, put out a heading on, right. or watch your heading, and just put a little forward in. Okay. Just enough to move the. Uh, Debris there. I might have got us a little close there. Yeah, yeah. Did you iris down over there, video, or did I? What happened? Oh, yeah, I did. Apologies. Video's working on it. Yeah, it's, can you turn open the iris a bit? Yep, uh, raising now. That's better, thank you. I'm going to zero your zero your Z bias here. I think that's killing us. That's I did. Wide I open, Dan. I can dial out. in some gain yeah. for you if you want. Let's see if we float up a little. your auto heading off too. I saw a plug for a second. So uh, come on a stick lock and put some lateral left in for me. Oh left? Yeah. Just hold it in. Don't lock it. Okay, click your auto heading in there. See what happens. You can put a little forward in too again. This took me on 10% or something, just so the other lateral doesn't reverse. So what I did okay. there, you hopefully ha have a hold of it, and we let the vehicle, back of the vehicle float up out of the mud, and then we, by lateral and left, we kind of came, you know, we're holding on to it with our left hand, kind of let her give Danny a little more room to make the connection. Okay. In theory. Bring the, uh, longer, uh, I can't hear you at all now. So if we bring the magnum shoulder down and the elbow up, we could pull ourselves away from it a little bit so I can have more. Yeah, you can 
you can make them the connection pretty tight in. If the magnet okay. can get it, you can make the connection. Okay. It's right in front of us. I can see it. I still can't hear you now. You gotta basically swallow the microphone. Maybe that's fine. Okay. Now I'm on SPL. Sorry. Oh, that's better. That's better. No, I turned them off. They were having a hand over back there. And it was or they were having some chat. Can you uh, look to the left there and wait? I can. Never mind. Here, let me, do you mind if I push your buttons, Jake? Yeah, push, push my buttons. <laughs> you, <laughs> if you did this while I was sitting there, I'd slap you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do before I do it. So I'm going to elbow in a little, try and get up just a little closer. it on the wrist up. I really hate these buttons. I can never find them. I've never been using them for like five years. They're not labeled correctly. There's that one. So that's the shoulder all the way up the elbow all the way down and the wrist or what I would know as pitch all the way up. So you can't get much closer than that with the magnum. And the target for us to plug into is directly behind your connector. I see that. Uh -huh. I kind of want to rotate in and kind of have it line up. Mm. Uh, let's wait for Viz. So if we can't get the Viz, you know, no chance. Are you, um, you can move the manip a little closer to it if you want. Just move straight away from the camera. I don't know if, uh, yeah, and then to your right a little so I can see the hole. That's good. Hold, hold that. Um, are you racked in or out, Jake? In. Uh, so we can rack out now. Oh, there we go. Okay, you can move a little closer now, Danny. Okay, let's hold that for a second. Um, can we play with the lights in the camera at all to maybe get a little shot of the dark there? Do we still have the pan and tilt cam on light? The disruptor? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Dan, we can throw some gain in if that's helpful. Yeah, so um, let's see. The uppers aren't going to help me. I'm going to try these lights here. Now you can play with the camera. We're trying to see that connector behind the connector. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's better. Oh, I can see it now. Oh yeah, I that can see beautiful. it clearly. I can see it. I can't see it because your connector's in the way. It's gonna here. Oh. It's directly in front. I know. I'm going to turn on the uh, pen and tilt light now. We'll just play with it for a minute. Yeah, there it is. Yep. Okay, let let uh, whoever's over in video, there's two of them over there. I think I can get it. Sure. 
while they're improving your video, Danny, before you get even close to that, you're going to have to get lined up. Yep. Again, I know I've said it 20 times, but nice and slow. So. What we don't want to do is, like, you know, rip three of the other connectors off. Yeah. <laughs> Which I've done before. It really gets the room excited. But, um. How's that for image? What's that? How's that image for you? Beautiful. It's we can a lot we better than before. Can we zoom in a little more? I want to see you get it lined up first, so. Use the other two connectors as your guide and O for a second camera. So we're going to want to keep the the other connector in view the whole time. That'll tell me whether you're lined up. Uh, you're not, so don't try yet. It's um, rotated clockwise just a little bit. And then bring it down just a little so I can see the connector behind it. Okay, now we can zoom in. Go ahead, video, zoom in a bit for us. So, I'm, I'm sure you've done these before, but my technique is to when I'm going in, be able to see just a little of the connector till I touch it. And then I know I just have to come up just a little to go slide on. Because if you're not, you'll be, you'll like completely miss it in there. And nice and slow the whole time. So if you see the vehicle moving, you're pressing too hard in the connectors. Okay, I think you got it. Okay. Hold what you got there, Danny. Let's tilt okay. up and check and see if the slots are in. Yeah, I do. I knew if I talk long enough, you'd get it. Oh, I was yabbering away. <laughs> 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 Not my first rodeo. <coughs> so you have to zoom in for the client to uh, verify that we. Yes, yeah, so what we're looking for is these little white lines that were there before, and I saw them disappear. It's I did just too. So I'm pretty sure the connection is solid. Now the fun part, if you can get off it and uh, give it a close jaw love to help, we'll all be happy and good to eat dinner. Okay. Back row, do you need a target dropped here or anything? So Clear the release? Yeah, you can release, but we'll want to give it a closed jaw. Yes. So, uh, gotcha. Open the jaws, come out, close jaws, turn the wrist 90 degrees and give a little up tap. Uh, go wide video. That's good. Back row, this is Nav. Can you hear me? Stand by, Lynette. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Back row. Uh, did you need a target dropped here or anything? Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can if you can display it on this um, section. Can I don't I think we need a new target bit? dropped. Yeah. Pan down. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I can yes, see what please. I'm doing. Yeah. Do you want to target? Oh, I think you're hitting the, hitting the camera a bit. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I gave it a shove. Okay. Let's, um, can we get a target drop? Your your assumption was good. I gave it a shove. Around you. Okay, get your man up out of there. Okay. I'm give him a I think we can back out and I can pull the out of there. You can get your man up out and pick the shoulder up. Okay. And bring the yaw to the left. Tuck it in, mate. I'm tucked in. That's I don't good know if uh, I'm hitting anything up there. You are. Yep. Okay, Jake, give him a tight, tight shot of that connector before we go. Alright. Can I get a zoom video there? Roger, zooming. You can back back out again now. 
Something's got room in it, though, right? Is this one right? Yeah, that's one. Okay. I think it's good. All right. So what we'll do is we're just going to power on that port and make sure that it's working and there's no ground bolts. Roger. Ricky, if you can request that through systems to turn on um, J4 and just see if they can ping that and have communication. Nicely done, guys. Yeah, good work. That was good. See why you really need the overview camera for the manips. It's painful. So you gotta kinda use the force on this vehicle. You tend to put your uh, wrist like this all the time. Keep kicking it to the right. Like Jake tends to fly to the left and <laughs> it's natural. It's the anti force. in, but once you do one with an Orion, I think it's almost impossible not to be able to do it with something else. Yeah. That was a little fast for me. It made me nervous. I'm the, I'm the opposite of go fast. I like if I can it's like my on. sonar slow. I like everything to happen really Uh, I, I slow down. I just I saw it sliding in, and I saw it line up. I saw it line up, and so I was. You went for it. Yeah. Every time I do that, they get bound up. I actually loosened my jaws just a tiny bit when I did, so it would. Just uh, they will bind. Especially these older ones. There's some newer style ones that have the big knobs on them, and they slide right in. I'm going to rotate, rotate bubble cam and see what kind of view we get out of that. Well, Rike, when we, when we hear back from systems, just let yeah. me know. Maybe I can uh, make sense out of our we do. Pardon? turns thing. Did you guys get that? We'll do, we'll do. Okay. Okay. Don't just take a look. All right. Roger. Um, whoa. Oh. It's an enemy. That's kind of cool. What? Uh, um, Herc sure, went yeah. Clockwise. Thank you. Well, we're facing. So Herc went half turn clockwise. So, if I zero this now, you need to come up with negative half a rat. Is that correct? Yeah. Because Herc went clockwise and it's facing the boat. I don't care about Atlanta. Does that make sense? I'm going to do it. Here you do it. You're sitting mm -hmm. in the chair. <laughs> So we're going to recover with negative half a rep. You don't have to look at a drawing and decode what the last shift did. No. Okay. Once you do come around, you can, yeah, counterclock when you come home. If we come home, sounds like we might be. How far, how far to the right can this um, camera see? Because I just want to see if we can see the CTD that's sitting on the floor off to the port starboard side so yeah yeah it can the big camera it can't see that far 
Is it? It should be sitting right, just down there on the ground. To the, yeah. If I can't see, I don't know. Do you have uh, another camera in that area? Go wide video. Yeah, Roger. we have the. You can look around with the bubble cam. You might be able to see it. You can turn off your uh, disruptor light, mm -hmm. which is your pan and tilt light there. That's its kind of... Swing the manip out of the way, Danny. And swing azimuth right and wrist left and you'll get out of there without pushing this around too much. There you go. You can turn it off out there somewhere. Uh, tilt up a bit, Jake. Okay, I'll play with your lights here. Turn the down lights up. Tilt up a bit more. That's as far. Oh, no, no, no farther. Okay, you're all the way pen right there, obviously. I need tilt back now. Center it up again. You like the bright light or the dim light? I don't know. It's the BBC lighting. <laughs> Look at all the krill and the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. So what we're going to do, this is our site layout diagram like this. The monument used to be here. The CPD is deployed here and there. Okay. Um, we were just mostly playing around over here with the parking position and all that. So we're currently here. We were hoping to recover both the CTD and the CTD that's sitting there. What science is now asking for, because we're running out of time, is if we can move around while facing this platform, confirm that the CTD has not fallen off the platform. So we're kind of getting a visual. It okay. should be hanging. If it's on the ground, that kind of changes things. Hopefully it's still hanging. And then we'll look at this CTD to make sure us playing with the cable didn't pull it off the platform itself. And if both of these are still good. We'll reposition here and get ready to pick this one up and recover. Okay. okay. Makes sense. So we want to do a couple of visuals from this side. Uh huh. Visuals from this side, and then the one that's sitting just off to your starboard side right now. We want to pick it up. And we kind of want to fly. We don't want to come really straight up. We just want to come slightly back and then up, just to make sure those. If the cable is currently you saw the one that's kind of draped over these connectors, we kind of just want to bring it out of that danger zone. ROVs, stand by. We just heard back from our systems team that there's an isolation fault on the connector we just did. Isolation faults are overrated. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> we have one on Herc right now. That ain't stopping us. I mean, sometimes it adds up for <laughs> the years that it's deployed, but Roger. I don't, I don't see much of what we can do. Are we still? We're still grabbed on. We are. Okay, we're still on, so let me just have a look here. Um, if they're having an isolation fault, can you get them to turn off the port? Turn off the J4. Come on, I thought I was going to 
have some fun here. <laughs> Tricked you into getting on the arm. Um, in with okay. So, if they want to turn this off, there's not much of a ground fault like that. Is um, not much we can do. The only thing we've done in the past is reseed the connector just to make sure in case it bounced out or something. But they're in a perfect position to do that, so. Okay, so our plan would be next to reseat this connector we just did. Pull it out and push it back in. That sounds like a great plan. See what we can do, shall we? Oh, it, um, yep. uh, if I was, I'm very confident that it went in and stayed in. But are you uh, the things off or clear to? Yeah, it's been turned off. Out of it. Roger. So the plan is to pull it out halfway and push it back in. That's the plan. Okay, I'm gonna bring the arm around and line it up. Roger. So, swing it back out to the right, bring the wrist all the way to the left, so the jaw is pointing in or down, yeah. So I want to see the end effector the whole time, it's not out there smearing stuff. But also don't want it smearing us. Alright, yeah. We do like this. <laughs> there you go. You're good. Okay, moving the camera. Okay, if you want uh, to stand by there, I'll play with the lights. Yeah. Or you can get a little closer. Uh, disruptor's coming on. That's why I said standby. Uh, video, can you play with the lights again, or the iris there? And I do that, up. working on it now. Work faster. Beautiful. Beauty. And I can see it really good in bubble cam. Yeah. That was pretty fast, Jacob. Thank you. <laughs> Mm. I hope you're not going to grab it there. Take your time for the grab. Make it, yeah, that's a little too much. It's worth it to play with it for the grab. I have grip lock. Roger. Okay, I'm going to swing in. Hold, hold. Oh. oh, you're good. You're good. Let's say you're off. Okay, we're out. You want us to give it a shake, shake, shake? To yeah, that'll be, that's a good idea. Um. No, okay. There, that we just shook the ground fault out. Did you see that? I yeah. saw it fall. I saw it fall right out of there. I saw ground fall. <laughs> so maybe that's it. I'm gonna need to zoom in on this again. Roger. Roger that. Go ahead, Jacob. Say when. That's beautiful. See if we can uh, uh, contrast a little bit. Maybe I can see what I can see. See that connector. Roger, working on it. Roger. Good. Yeah. I don't see how you function that thing over there. There's so many knobs and dials on it. it scares me. <coughs> um, 
Come back on there, Danny. Make the arm so it's not in their face. So, shoulder up and go ahead, Jacob. Yeah. See what you got to do there, right? Yep. Swing the arm to the right, wrist to the left. Fabulous. Uh, when you get close, yeah. and you're not going to smack the serial number two vintage electronics there. I'll slide the camera out. Okay, I'm ready uh, for a zoom. Yeah. Roger. That's better. Say when? That should do it. Cam's your friend too. Yep. That's you moving the camera, not me. It's gonna. I gotta rack back a little. You're touching the uh, Zeus there. It's not allowed. Go ahead. No. Nope. Oh. Yep. There it is. Okay, I'm racking back. All right, you're going to have to get off of it and move the arm out of the way. Okay. I am releasing now. Well, yeah, and just slide the whole mess to the right so we can see. Okay, let's go for the, uh, see how you, the vehicle's floating actually now, yeah. so you were pushing it around. You want to, uh, here, give me a second, we'll do a zoom, but. Zoom out a little bit, I can do a nudge. Hold up. Go tight there, please, video. Some focus action when you get there. Yeah. I'd say we're in back room. And who's back there right yeah. now? Yeah. Okay. So, you, um, uh, can we um, just give it one more push? I think it's good. Did you? Absolutely. Okay. Go wide video. Give her a love tap there. Close jaw. Love yep. tap. Yep. 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 Pretty solid. That was tough, love. Uh, okay, yeah. One more zoom in there, and then uh, I think we're fine. Okay, you want, you're good with the arm there, right? Yep. Enrique, can you? Okay. Jake, can we can zoom in again there for us, please. Yeah, it sure looks in. Let me uh, play with the light here. Might be able to get a better. Is that better for you over there? For yep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think it was better with the pen and tilt light on, don't you? Yep. I mean, I've never had this good of contrast to confirm a connector in this area so and it looks pretty good it's because you never had us sitting up here before. well i have to say i like this trick um it's about no flooding the lights and then changing the iris after i don't know if i've seen that very often definitely people play with the lights and play with the iris but i don't know if they're doing it simultaneously oh for a minute cam Wait, I already said that. I'll give it a rest. Mm. 
I think bubble cam was very helpful in that last uh, evolution. It was. Jake did a fantastic job of positioning the vehicle there. It's a sweet grab. Yeah. It, it's worth the extra time to get the get, to get the grab because the vehicle's floating now. It's not in the mud, so we can when you push around, you're not disturbing the mud. Because if you're in the mud and you push like that with the arm, the whole vehicle footprint that all comes up in your face. And yeah. Yeah, with ACO, we're the same way. The uh, entire unit is about twice the size of the vehicle, and we're hanging off of it. Mm -hmm. We can actually uh, do this. I don't know if you got it coming up there, but I can get even closer. So I'm lateraling now. You can see yeah. the bubble cam is happening. If I let go of it, it's going to swing back to the left. I'm just playing around on the on the grab there. Yeah. Pivoting. Pivoting, exactly. The shilling minutes or the shilling vehicles have a function to make the eight, eight thruster configuration work like this. So you disable the it disables the front two thrusters. But it puts the moment of the vehicle out where the five function grabber is. So when you change the back it's it's actually trying to pivot the vehicle around that focal point out there, a meter in front of the vehicle. As opposed to ripping the five function off the front of the arm. <laughs> in front of the sub. Can Jake come if you want? You can go wide now and they've seen what they need to see. Roger. I'll uh, turn the disruptor off here. And uh, if you want, you can kind of play with your iris now. Um, if all things being, uh, let's swing that. So again, swing the. Try and poke the camera eye out. Yeah, there you go. That's good. We don't want it. I don't mind it in a little where I can see it. So when you got to get it out, it's not blind. So how I usually do it, it's hard to see here. Um, it's hard to see here too, but swing to the left a little. You see that bolt that you can see right now? Nah, now back to the right a little. So if you can see that bolt under behind the hose, it's too far out. Okay. So right there's a good? Yeah, right there. Sweet. Got all this mud on the vehicle. It's Dirk. Mm -hmm. Are you? Are you? Uh, you guys happy for us to let go and go fly around? You got? Did we get rid of your ground fault? Uh, it looks like the ground fault situation is looking a lot more promising. Um, just uh, our systems person is still typing. Roger. So we're just it's just dot 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 right now. Roger. Just hanging out. Oh, that reply that never that happens. That could be good. <laughs> And then no more dot dot dot. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> it's like I saw you typing. <laughs> I don't know why we need to look out 50 meters with this sonar right now. I can't see that far. 
Front row. Yes. Um, yeah, either they figured something out on shore or us shaking that ground out of the fault worked, <laughs> but it's working now, so. The awesome. fault out of the gr ground out of the fault, Roger. So um, uh, basically, when you, if you are gonna um, move around this platform, just be aware right up against the platform there, you see these loops? Yep. So just be aware there are loops within <coughs> that half a meter, meter from the platform. So you can, something to be aware of for your frame, subframe. So however we can think about that. Roger. So that map you showed me. You um, want it? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I, uh, there's a instrument. The instrument that's to my right, that's still on the on yeah, the platform. Yeah. I'll come over. I'm bringing the. I'll bring it back. Sure. Right. It's still. It should still be on the platform. I'll forget as soon as you show me. I, I'm a kind of. I gotta see it, kind of guy. So I'm sitting here like this. You'd think there's a, a CTD on the, and it's still wrapped up. Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, yeah, I'm going to actually come up on top of the platform and probably sit on it and look down. Oh, we have all these. I can't land on the top of it. Roger. Oh, that's convenient. I like landing on top of these things. And then this business over here, the it shift change. Right. Right. So there's nothing over here to worry about. Roger. Roger. What, do we want to look at that? And make sure it's still there or no? Okay. So you want to look at this, and then we're we're gonna. Roger. Oh, there's another instrument on the platform. Right. Okay. And I can look from here and look down through the platform. So I'm going to come off and come around here and look down yep. and look at this. Okay. Yeah, that's the way I need to go anyway, so. Okay. Um, yeah, because that'll take out half our up. Yeah. So we're obviously tucked in with this guy already. So when we're ready, all you'll have to do is uh, let go and swing it left. You can leave it out there. You don't got to worry about it. Or we may or may not use it again. I don't mind if it's, um, instead of stowing it, what I'll generally do is just leave a little hint of it in the camera so I can see it. Okay. Set. Eh, hold on. That's off. I don't know what that does. Yeah, should be good. <laughs> Release. Release. Eh, I'm going to turn in a little Z bias here. I have no idea what our... Uh, Okay, just swing it to the left a little for me. Yeah, it's good for now, thanks. I'm just going to play with the vehicle here for a minute. Yep. I uh, have no idea how it behaves, so... It's been like ages since I've operated the thing. Yeah, 
Yep, we can hear you. Uh, uh, Ricky, what do you want for naming convention for this site? So you can go... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll wait for our... Um, well, Ricky will give you an answer in a second on that one. Yeah, the name should be um, Fulja Deep IP. What are those mushrooms? July 2023. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, white things. Or 2022, um, okay. Sorry. Come down uh, three meters on the winch, would you? Okay, uh, my winch readout. Just make sure your mic is really close to your mouth. Got so you. Can hear. Coming down. <coughs> sure. The um, name should be Folger Deep IP okay, 2023. Did you come down at all? Dash Oh, six. Well, I do not think I've engaged the winch yet. Bring your Grafana up there. <laughs> or look at mine. Make that number say two zero, the big red That's one. That's correct. Thank you. Look at your cameras. Winch isn't moving. There, you there go. we go. There we go. <laughs> it's Danny's first winch. <laughs> on this winch. <coughs> so one of your tabs there um, also has that. That's good. Oh, the LCI doesn't work. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I have a 50 meter tether here, so I don't know what that's doing, but. I forgot about that. That's better. Can you look down with your Argus camera and see what the tether's doing there? You can see it on the bottom right, Argus. Your uh, Argus page tilt down. That's this one here? Yeah. Correct, yeah. All the way down. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Not much, but I got an idea. Okay, here we go. Um, there's the CTD in the mud there. Yeah, that's there's a CTD. We're gonna be picking that one up, I suppose. I think so. I think that's the one. The one we just placed. There's the unfortunately the other one is not hanging from the platform anymore. It's on the ground. I can see it's uh it's that one with that big Yep, I see it there. Yep. Yeah. Um reach out and grab it. Um yeah, ideally what we can do is let me Look at the time. How long do we think that's going to take? Forever. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. <laughs> uh, Twice as long. If you multiply by pi and add 20%, it might be close. Yeah, I think so. Um, don't think we have time to deal with it. Uh, what did you have in mind? Um, to put it, just see where the bullhorns figure eight kind of come together. Yeah. Just put it right there. Uh, uh, video, are you playing with the uh, I think lighting there, or the iris? Unfortunately, I think we're just going to have to leave it where it is. I don't think we have time for it. We have to probably start recovering in about half an hour, and we still want to make sure to pick up the other CTD, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's... I think it's not going to... I think it's too risky. Can you uh, turn the iris back down a little there for us? There you go. So we'll just check out the other one we just deployed. Uh, I don't know what you did over there, Jacob. We had a little better view. I'll just sit here for a minute if you want to play with it. Roger, I'll sort that out.
You should, by nature, just blame the pilot. <laughs> How's that looking? Uh, worse. You had it better there. I don't know what uh, brighter Do you darker? want it brighter or darker? Okay. I want to be able to see that CTD in the mud right there. I definitely can't see it now. Nothing we can do over here to make that happen. Roger. I thought you had some magic up your sleeve over there. Yeah, I think... Um, this helping at all? I think that gives us the information we want. Roger. And then more important right now is the other one, and then recover. Copy. So, can I look through the platform at it, or? Uh, no, I don't think so. So, there's a junction box in between. Yeah, but if I look down right here... It's yeah, you should be able to see it from the top, likely. Um, yeah, see the yellow... Yeah. I think it's still there. Hold on. But it, I don't think this is a good enough confirmation, but it sure looks promising. I can get my light ears away. Give me a second here. Yeah, it's... Here it looks like it's still in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, so I'm sitting on the platform there. Yeah. I don't know if... Uh, no, you're fine. I don't know if you can see what you need to see. I can't see anything. Um, if you can um, come around the other side of it, around the right side here from sure. your view, just to confirm. I believe that's it sitting there, but I uh, mm -hmm. would like to see it off the ground. You want to... Um, Turn on down lights on, maybe? Yeah. Lights coming on there. Hold on. Let me get around where I gotta. Can you uh, just go uh, on the Magnum? Push the uh, wrist down a little? On the Magnum? Yeah. And put it a little lower in the view there so I can get closer without poking something. So it's even with a porch, and that'll do. Thanks. Yeah, nice view of this would be good. Roger. Um, it's pretty precarious. Looks pretty precarious. Um, I'm going to try and uh, blast some lights here, so I don't know what's going to happen. What light you want? Ready, Ed? Or Jacob? Roger. Yeah. How's that looking? That's better, thanks. Mm -hmm. Let me yeah. get a little closer here and see what we got. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's in there. It's in there. Yeah, okay, well. That's good. Um, I can't get I much closer than that. I'm no, I touching, think that, touching I think the that's platform there. Um, a question for you. Would sure. it be... How challenging do you think it would be to grab the platform and just wiggle this to see if it's solid or if it's just going to fall out next octopus that comes by? Hmm. It's it's a question. I don't know I'm how complicated that's going to get. Well, I'm... Um, up against it now, so I'm here. Let me give it full power. That's me uh, bonking the platform there. Yeah. Um. Seems to be pretty solid. That's the full power of Hercules against the platform. There. Yeah, I don't. I think we're just gonna have some faith in this that it's sitting well enough. All right. So we can go back to the um, connector panel and. Uh, Pick up that CTD. Right. Yeah, I would say we could pick it up and shove it in there, or we could pick it up and drop it in the mud. It's yeah, and then we're 50 we're 50. Yeah. If we have to play in the mud, you know what happens. Yeah, if we're going to do anything, maybe the other CTD would have been the better option, but it's going to. There's no knowing how long it's going to take. 
Okay, I think um, if we can go back to the connector panel and pick up that CTD that's on the ground, right. the one where we're covering. Okay, Danny, get your toy out. You can zoom in just a little, Jacob. See Can how I see how I assembled the Zeus number two sideways. <laughs> uh, not not quite so much, man. You can zoom hold back up. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I'm losing it. Is that me, or is that you adjusting the camera? Uh, I haven't touched the iris, no. Roger. I'll get over there and get a look at it, and I'll... Okay, I see it. If you... Oh, yeah. No, that's the one that we are yeah. really tempted to pick up. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's so tempted to just reach out, grab it, and shove it in that <laughs> hole. I can't. As soon as you touch it, it'll send the minute or the vehicle fly. I think yeah. we're just going to make it worse somehow. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so this one, how do I grab a hold of this? Uh, right. So when we, rec when we recover this one, um, it would be nice to fly up with it slowly and back about its its uh, cable is 10 meters long. So if we could Another. just have it in a position where we can watch for snags on the end of the cable and just while we're flying, so we're monitoring that we're not pulling on something down below. As far as grabbing it, you there should be a big round PVC tube similar to the one we just saw on the other frame and we can hold grab it by that. which is, th if I can draw, that's where we can grab it. Do you want me to just see if I can reach down and grab it, or? Mm. Whenever, however you want to do it. Yeah. Okay, and it coming out of the... Do it. There's a light. I can draw the light. Uh, can you open the iris a bit now for us? Can I do that? Just a bit, yeah. How's that looking? Fabulous. There's also this monkey's fist if, that you can grab it by, right there. So mm. whichever that might be, that might is easier ticket. for you. No preference for me, from my side. I would grab the monkey fist and then do like half a wrap. Yep. Um, yeah, you're swung way in there, obviously. Yep. To move the arm out of the way, Danny. I need to see the monkey here moving me now. I'm wondering if you just, just be aware there's a bullhorn sticking off of this platform. Oh, yeah. Just I when your arm's it. operating that's why in that I'm, area. That's why I'm tucked in in T Rex jaw. Just so it doesn't surprise you. Okay. So keep the monkey view, the monkey view, monkey fist in view. <laughs> Don't block it with a minute. Yeah. Line. Get close to it. <laughs> you don't have to swing your arm out to the right and come in. You're pushing me around on the yep. bullhorn. Here, let me come away. Do you know if the bridge is on the science party line as well? Uh, we can talk to the bridge. Just, um, just so they're aware that we're starting our kind of our last operation, just to give them a kind of a time frame with the pilot boat out of Banfield. Zoom out a little. Video. You can just let them know that we're starting the last last operation. It could be ten to half an hour, ten minutes to half an hour. Okay. Zoom know. in just a little, Jacob. Tell them. Yep. That's good. Right there. Right there.
Okay, Annie, put the, uh, I know what's happening. We got a bunch of junk on our porch and it's coming up in our face when I come down. You can uh, put the manip out down there by the porch. Swing to your right, some. Yeah, down in there somewhere. And then put the jaws closer so I can see them. Yeah, something like that. That's better. This is one of those trade offs, so I can come up and get clear water. As soon as I come down, all that stuff is coming off the vehicle. That's what I like. So now we know where the jaws are. We can plainly see them. Mm -hmm. I know which way they're pointing, and I can get you close. And we don't have to fumble around in the dark. So that is a wino horn right in front of us. Yeah. Corner. I think it's I need to come back to my left. Yeah, look past it. Yeah. yeah. Uh I lost the plot now. Nope, so that's the one that No, it's on the other side. Yeah, you're just Yeah, I I know where I am now. You Sorry. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, well, there's another check on that CTD, that's good. Yeah, it's still there. Still uh, there. Knocked it out of there, yeah. Just need to keep going counterclockwise. Magic. It's a good survey of the platform. Looks like the current direction has changed since yeah. we started. We just went uh, through a tide change there. Okay, so there's that CTD. Yeah. Down there. Yeah, don't move your arm yet. I'll get you really close anything. to it. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely want to go for the monkey fist. But yep, I can get it. Hold on. Easy, easy. Grab, 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 grab. Close jaws, close jaws. Okay. Uh, stop, stop. Don't move. You push me around. Uh, take half a wrap on the jaws. Uh, it's not open. It's not. It's not. It's there. in there. Turn, turn the jaws. Turn, 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 turn. Okay. You want to kind of peel out towards your port side, so we're not getting under anything else. Roger. Uh, take half a wrap again. Yeah, beauty, that's good. I'll do it. Oh, new. Okay, try again. So, you can put the minute back where it was there. Yep, I working on it. Where I am. Okay. Right there. Yeah, maybe a little lower. Mm -hmm. So 
So what happened there when you, you touched just a little hard and you spun the vehicle around? We're going to be really, really easy in there. Try, I'll try to grab under the monkey foot, monkey fist next right. time. Yeah, right. It just move nice and slow because as soon as you touch, it moves us. Normally it wouldn't matter, but with this fizz, you know, you move us a foot and we can't see anymore. No, no, not yet. I'm just going to uh, back away again here and come in on our 225 heading. Tempting to go clean the mud off of this thing. off a bit coming up through the uh, water column. Oh yeah, but we only got like 10 yeah. meters to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's five meters off the bottom and makes such a huge difference. Yeah, but I'm cheating, so we got all this mud on the port, so when I come back down, it's like wafting up in oh, front yeah. of me and then I can't see anyways. Chimney. Those things serve as good markers. Yeah, they do. Should put them on all the platforms. Then enemies? Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what they're called. I know I saw them at the aquarium. I believe those are plumos and enemies. Oh, that sounds good to me. No. I was looking for the scientific name. On the right enemies, side here. Yeah, it's on the other corner, yes. I think. There's that. Oh, there it is. I don't know. There it is. It's too shallow for me here. I don't know Much anything. Much better position now. Yeah, we got it right where we want it. Yep. Right? Let me know when I'm free. Yeah, you can uh, nice and slow grab the rope and wrap it up in the minute. That's what we're trying to do. Tangle. Get us tangled up, Danny. I think they're metridiums. And I'll take a, uh, yeah, that's what we want. But you want to, you want to, yeah. yeah, that's good for now. Okay, hold what you got there. Yep. You just freeze the arm. Are your jaw locked too? Jaw's locked. All right, let me drag a, I don't know, what's that thing cost? 50 grand? <laughs> yeah, probably, with all those piggybacks on it. Drag it around in the mud a little bit here. Dirty it up. And then coming up straight from here is probably good. And right. we'll just watch the tension to make sure. It's got a loop over it. That's a that's really nice job with the rope there. That's what we wanted. That's what I wanted to do. So Second time's a charm here. One. Uh, you can try and stab me with it a little bit, so just so we can see it a little better. Okay. Coming live. That's good. I can set it on a porch if you want. Uh, well, yeah, as long good. as we can see tension, relative tension. Uh, yeah, you'll have to swing it out and come up a bit. I'm not going to keep coming up right now, this biz. Maybe swing out a little more so we can see the cable. Oh, oh there's a platform. Uh, push it out in front of us a little bit more. I want to see the cable on it. And we want to stay to the north of this. To the north, Roger. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Perfect there, Danny. Thank you. Yeah, we don't want, definitely don't want to drag it across the cable we just deployed. We have a thing called auto XY in theory that will hold the vehicle right where it is. Works pretty good on the system. 
And we're just slowly floating up. Works much better if I take my hands off the controls. <laughs> <laughs> Five meters now. Six meter. You can come up on the winch a bit if you want. Okay. Keep that delta about 25, maybe. Just come up nice and easy. Coming up. Look at your uh, camera as well. Look at all that slack on that green cable. Do I have a winch speed uh, readout? Or is it you do. Minus 15 meters a minute. And if you go to your utility page here. Oh, it's tight. Like getting tight. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. I'll stop on the winch. <coughs> I guess they're right above something. Um, okay, we're on that corner. That would mean about nine meters. Can we, if we look at our nav? Oh, yes. I'm looking at it every like two seconds. Just do this. Can we come down kind of just to the east of that eastern corner? Yeah, so you want me to back up a bit? Yeah, mm -hmm. back up a little bit. Right. I, I'm wondering if it got underneath one of these cables, so. When I back up, it's going to, if I actually, if I turn the vehicles heading to the north, I'll bring the cable in front of me a little more. Maybe I'll be able to see it. Uh, okay, so that puts us on the bottom. Ish. And it's us back in the mud. I'm going to adjust bubble cam. Roger. It was right at the end, right at the connector. So it was right as we were pretty much on 10 meters. Yeah. I'm gonna slide to the east a little more. We'll get a kind of a 45 on the cable here. meters on the winch. Right? Coming up five meters on the winch. It looks like it's hanging pretty good. If we want to come up about for making sure we're clear. Yeah, I've slid to the east. Uh, yeah. What are those nav thingies? Ten meters? So I've slid, yeah, maybe five meters east. The cable is 10 meters long. And it. So I'm wondering, just as a final confirmation, I'll, let me come up there. I just want to walk you through something here. Around it. Okay. I'll stop on the winch. You can come up another five. Come up another five. No. Yeah, you can go eat. I'm going to eat and then come up and... Yeah, you can come up and... Uh, relieve Danny? Yeah. All right. 
Um, can you uh, take another uh, wrap with that thing? So yeah. the arm's in a great position if you could leave it there, but just uh, wrap it up to get it up a little higher. Yep, no problem. You can actually, uh, you can pitch up if you want to, like put it out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You can unwrap and wrap up if you want. Right, yeah, something like that. Beauty. Okay, be able to hold her there. Put that up above me. Moving bubble cam. Oh, that's like way up high, isn't it? Yeah. Are you able to come up or are you stuck again on something? No, I'm holding my altitude there. I was just lifting the instrument up so it's up above the uh, port oh, okay. so we can come down low and get friendly with the uh, platform there. I would recommend coming up about 15 off the bottom on the altimeter just because that cable could be anywhere from 10 to 11 meters long. Yeah, right Just that. so we're not dragging it over that monument. But Megan will take it from here. Oh, this Megan. I'm here. You go eat. Got any post it notes on it? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to re up. Okay, I am 20 meters altitude. And gonna, all is free? Uh, all appears to be free, yeah. And so I'm gonna slide around uh, to the south, uh, northeast, southwest, that way. Uh, come around the south side of the pass. That the platform slide to the west, so we're gonna come back down and uh, go make sure everything's still happy, happy there. Sounds good. Look at all that mud they left us. We have to remember to return that favor. So right at watch days, just auger it in and bury it. And <laughs> <laughs> Disrupt the biz. <laughs> that makes for a more. Thank you. Easy shift change, you don't have to look at stuff on the screen. Yeah. I'm just kidding, by the way. They need these lights at restaurant tables. I agree. My mic was way up here. <laughs> you guys came in for all the excitement. Look at all that clear water with nothing to look at. Hey, everybody has to have their talents. <laughs> I'm giving Herc full power washing machine to the left. Oh, the mud is still with us. Looks like we got a good hold on that CTD, so. We do. Okay, we're about uh, probably 10, 15 meters to the south of it, and we are 20 meters up. With a allegedly 10 meter cable. So I'm going to start coming down here. And you want to look down at bubble cam a little so I can see the green cable? It could be a little bit longer than 10 meters. All right. Well, you'll see when it goes slack here because I'm just going to hold position here and come straight down, which is going to, again, disrupt our visibility. Good? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Because uh, a lot on the porch is coming up on our face. 15 meters. You should see that thing when it starts going slack when the connector hits the mud. Ten meters. Oh. Boom, there, there it went slack. Yeah. That's a pretty good measurement then. Yeah, we're watching.
watching it in our other camera there. It looks okay. So I'm just keep coming down here. Five meters. Better slow down. Dial in a little of the old Z bias there. 20% or so. We should be getting the sonar target here soon. Four meters. Three, four. 3.6. Uh, maybe just a little too far away. I'll start sneaking to the north here. There it is. 10 meters away. Imagine that. That whole USBL mumbo jumbo works pretty good. <laughs> no comment? <laughs> 100 meters of water. Better work. Okay, so. You see the good. you see the cable there. I'm, you're all right if I just kind of drag it out ten meters. That's the cable that we just laid, right? It is. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, that's fine. S it'll just kind of drag off the starboard side of the sub here. I'm gonna kick kick our heading to the uh, northeast a little and fly north until we hit the platform. Well, that's a pretty good image. Five meters away. Yeah, it's amazing when you slow it down, it can get some reflection. <sighs> kind of going slow here because I'm dragging a cable. Where's our white beacons, Danny? Should be right there. There it is. There they are. I like there's a wire horn. You missed. Um, what did he want to see? Oh, he Just wanted to, to see. Just to make sure that that um, yeah. CCD we placed in didn't get tumbled over yeah. when you guys had a snag, and yeah. it looks like it's still in place. It looks like it's still there. Yeah. All right. Looks like we landed right in exactly where it should have been. Yeah. So, so confirmed. Happy? And then we can just back away to the south and Roger that. call I'm it a day. I'm going to turn and uh, follow this little green road here that happens to be attached to us. So we come to the south there. Carried away here. We should think about how we're going to get this thing back on the deck. So we're out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, we can put, maybe we put the CTD in a toolbox. I don't think it'll fit. We probably still have all the 
dividers in the starboard box. I don't know if we took them out or not. Well, we can shoot the box out and take a look in the camera. We can. I don't know if it'll fit in there. Think it'll fit in there? There's no way. Can you leave it open a little bit? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> they got all that PVC mumbo jumbo in there. Um, you could stick it on the porch and then I can use the suction sampler bungee to wrap it up. Maybe. Yeah, we didn't take any beaners down with us. What was the grand plan for recovering this? Is there any jewelry on the porch to do so? Oh, don't hit the mud, Dan. now well we gotta see what we got on the porch here uh, we gotta do something with this thing to get it home so if you lay it there on the porch uh, we'll pin it with the magnet okay <coughs> I would recommend, he's got it way up in the air there, because yeah. we were down low with the platform. I would recommend bringing it down in front of the vehicle first so we can see it. So you bring your arm, just bring your arm down. Right. What we'll do, Jake, is yeah. we'll, so the arm's up here like this, we'll bring the arm down where we can see it. We'll come over on the left side of the porch, sweep, lay it up over the porch like this, holding it the whole time, obviously. And once we get it on the porch where we want it, if we're lucky the first time, uh, we'll pour the, pull the porch back, then we'll bring the magnum in and grab a hold okay. of that PVC there. Okay, so if you come down, first of all, and I'm coming down, chasing you down with the camera. Yeah. So now you bring her left. I'm just going to put the camera where I don't have to move it around on you. Yeah. Check her on the front porch. Um, if you wanted to, you could uh, rotate your wrist a little to get a little more slack there. By the way. Show us that nice Nautilus logo while you're doing it. Uh, how many? Yeah, let's leave one wrap on it. All right. <laughs> yeah. So I go out in front of the porch and come around to the left. I think. No. What do you think? Yeah. I think if you go all the way to the left side, and you can lay it long ways in front of us. Yeah, you know, swing, straighten the arm out a little more so you're off the corner of the porch there. There you go. Maybe a little more. Yeah, so if you bring it up there and then because it's long, right? I'm trying mm -hmm. to lay it horizontal. Uh, what do I want to say? Yeah. There you go. Now, if you, in theory, tuck that manipulator in, it should lay right there on the porch. Uh, what do you want to see? I don't yeah. know. Beauty. <laughs> yeah. Now lay it down to your right. Uh, come right with the mat line. Keep coming down. Beautifully done. 
check. Nicely done. Nice placement. Okay. That was the easy part. So, um... Did I reverse rotate? No. Oh, we get a pin the it. porch is out right now. So if you come, if you chase me back, I'll bump the porch in. Like so. So you bring the okay. hip all the way, like, try and hit the bio box with it. Yep. Yep. And yeah, drag it up on there a little more. Yeah. Beauty. Okay. Um, let's pin it. Or maybe, uh, go ahead and take your wrap now. Counterclock. And come right down close to it. Uh, other way. Yeah, now come down with the arm. Pin it on the porch. Okay. Yep. Okay, hold that for a second. Okay, hold what you got there. I'll get the other toy out here. Dun, 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 dun. I don't like the wrist up like this. <laughs> What's that? Are you a flutist or are you yeah, a... Yeah, I'm a... Robert trained you so you're a flutist. I can't contort my hand like this. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Flute you know, to watch with Bob, I guess. You know, I can get in a car and drive it if the steering wheel's on the left-hand side <laughs> of the road. Well, I mean, I just did it this way, so... <laughs> I can get in when, when the steering wheel's on the wrong side, and I can function, but it's really irritating. Eh, sorry, I lost the plot here. This <laughs> I'm going to try and scooch it in a little more. I think I'm pushing my luck back. So I'm the opposite. If I'm clever, I'll do this so when we get on deck, it's easier to deal with. Oh, sorry. I mean, to smack the craft there. Mm. It wasn't very nice. Uh, it'll make it easier when we're on deck to get it off. Mm -hmm. Shoulder all the way up. No, it was not. These buttons, I never could get uh, their layout. It's like not intuitive to me. I have to look yeah. for the button every time. It's really frustrating. And after I've used it for 10 minutes, I get it, but then <laughs> I forget again. <laughs> so now, if I come down on the shoulder, it should pin it. Uh, not quite what I want it. This is PVC, right? Yeah, the white tube is PVC, yeah. So I can get Western with it a little, that'll be all right? Yep. I'm going to just force the jaws on it here, so it's... Oh. Uh, you still have it on the rope, so... Be okay. All right. I'm 
doesn't say we're on it. But I forgot if the porch is all the way in. It is. Okay, lock in the jaw. Um, you want to try uh, rolling your rope up just a little bit tighter there? Uh, are we happy to leave the connector dangling, or do you want to... We could fly down and grab the connector, and that would be half of the... Yeah, I, d I don't think we should leave it dangling. Okay, There's yeah. a chance it'll fall. So you can see if you can get untangled there. Oh. I think I am untangled here. Yeah. They open up there and um, put the logo in the bottom right. And side of the screen. So you can open your yeah, go ahead and open it. Not quite untangled. Nope. <laughs> Beauty. So I'm gonna try and uh yeah. You bring the manip in close to the porch, but in that bottom little kind of cutout there. Okay. And yeah, somewhere in there. Down there? Yeah. Turn your wrist 180. Uh, sorry, rotate your jaws 180. Oh, oh now you oh, got it. What did I do? I don't know. Uh, the magnet is stuck to the... That is interesting. Oh, yeah. Just chuck it up on the porch there. It's stuck to it's the stuck. jaws. Yeah. Let's, uh... <laughs> wow. Well... Can I bump the box open a little without pushing the CTD out? Yeah, drop it in the box. Challenge. Do you want to rack me back when while you're doing this? It's racked back. Punch me in the eye. Yeah, yeah. Magnet. Nice, Jake. I did not know those jaws were magnetic. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> you got a magnetic personality. Okay, if you bring it back in and show me the logo, uh, there's a method to my madness. It's easier for me to get depth perception with the uh, with the compass Nautilus logo there. Yeah, beauty. That's good. Okay, we're going to go uh, connector hunting. Connector hunting. Yeah, so in theory, if I bring my head back to the north and back up and come down. I'm going to just slide forward here and look down. There is what we want to see. Touch the mud, Dan. Don't do it.
doing 10 meters. There it is. Okay, Jake, grab that bad boy up. up let me float up you got it yep the cables going right under the porch there so let me float up here for a minute and then you can <coughs> oh Simba up 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 point seven point eight point nine one meter Okay, you can uh, probably uh, rotate your wrist 180 and pin that thing on the port somewhere. Let me rack back. Mm -hmm. We can put the uh, flat part on the port so the green pointing out away from us. Okay. So yeah, rotate counterclock. Like that. Yeah, you can actually put it in the Fletcher if you're clever. You have about five minutes to do so. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to do that? No. See that thing underneath there? Yeah. There's some slots and it slides in there. Really? The danger is you'll drop it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It slides in there super easy. It's a Fletcher. No, I am uh, currently the... ROV is headed at the blazing half walking speed to the north um, east. Sorry, I had to double think that there. And we're going to get stretched out for recovery. So obviously I'm 20 meters from Argus now, so I'm milking it a little while Jake... Uh, yeah. So you'd have to uh, lift the arm up, put the pitch down a little bit to line it up. This one. Oh. Yeah. See how it just came beautifully into alignment there? Oh. You have to do that motion a little more so it's parallel with the front of the porch. Uh, goes on top of that piece. Yeah. That's it. Look at Jake making his first fletch. Boom. And then you can just freeze the arm right there and we'll, that's all we'll recover. Yeah. yeah. Perfect timing. I am now 20 meters away from Atlanta. Sweet. Rumor is you'll have to, um, let's see, we said we were going to recover with half a wrap. Negative? Yeah, counterclockwise. All right. Uh, can you come up 10 meters on Atlanta? Yeah, and I'm going to start resetting my levels over here. Roger that. Thanks, Ed. Um, I'm not sure I want to do that with 10 meters of 5 meters of cable under me. I'm going to take a... In theory, I'm going to take a turn out. Otherwise, we'll have a... Um, come up down there four meters, Jake. Rog. Okay, that should do it. I'm gonna jet we jet we do our half negative return. We got a big thing of cable dangling down below us, so I can 
see from our tail cameras. Herc's tethers hard up and should talk to the guy that assembled that camera and get him to do it correctly. You know what Danny found? Uh. An adjustment to align the camera so it doesn't look at the right. Yeah, it, uh, uh, you don't see as much of it over there. The borders on your multi-viewer are actually superimposed over the active pixels, but over yeah, here clipped. it's pretty significant. Yeah. Okay, Jake, we can see the tether there in Atalanta. Uh -huh. yep. um, so according to the uh, cryptic picture they left us, you have to go which way? It's in the book there clockwise, behind us. the other way from... So Atalanta has to go clockwise. Okay, spin it around clockwise and we'll stretch right. her out. Still 30 meters below you, so I'm gonna. We're not gonna have a lot of time to whistle Dixie here on the. Can you hit uh, one on bubble preset? This, this oh, guy. Yeah. Let's keep an eye on the jewelry on the front porch there. Oh. Never mind. Do you have to wake it up or? Uh, that's annoying. Uh, down, not intuitive. down is down. <laughs> uh, all right. That's it. That's all you get. <laughs> I'm coming up all the time and headed northeast. Look, I've flown right off the nav screen. Oh my gosh, where am I? Oh no. We've lost contact with Hercules. <clears throat> I'm, yeah, I'm coming up to, uh, slowly coming up to uh, Argus step there. So Argus is at actually 45, 45. meters. <coughs> but I'm 15 meters below it. I'm just stretching out that uh, crazy long 50 meter tether we got. 10, 20, 30, 40. Should be close. What does uh, Mr. Mesotech say? 40, 45? 45. 45. 50. Almost 50. Coming up on 50. Yep. Oh yeah, bing, right at 50. Yep. Okay. Uh, you want to turn your auto heading off? Uh-huh, rider, coming off. And you can disable your thrusters and tilt your camera up and turn off your, some of your lights. It's still light outside. Should get some daylight light. Uh, I don't know. There's not much we can do about the dredge nozzle. Okay, Lynette. We have all of our vehicles in a row, ready for recovery. Um, can you let Mike know that he's got approximately five meters of green cable hanging below Hercules? Uh, if he wants, he can come up here and have a look. Or you can just let him know, it's up to him. Oh, he can probably see on the video, he's probably watching. There nice it is. view. Beauty. That camera's not totally worthless. Sweeping me. That's interesting. 
Yes, please, yeah. In fact, you could start streaming now. Sure. Forgot all about the streaming thing. No, we can start now. I'll help us get. Uh, I'm struggling a little here to keep it behind the boat. I know the captain would probably yell at us if we weren't moving forward when he wrapped up. I think so, yeah. Mike was asking for some help on deck earlier, and I, I told him that Mick, one of us could go to Yeah, yeah you can go if you All want. Right. Right. Are you dressed for it? I just got to throw some boots you are on. Danny. You yeah. can actually, you can both go. Right. Unless you want to. Danny, Danny's never seen a recovery, so. Okay. Do you want me to head down? No, you can hang out for the recovery. Oh, okay. I'll swap spots. Jake's been up here. Jake flies the recoveries usually. So Roger, I am going to um, switch over to our launch and recovery salvo, if everyone's okay with that. Here we go. He is clear. Roger. So, um, you haven't been through any of this before. Yet. So when we come up, usually we come up and we start streaming um, somewhere between 500 and 200 meters, depending on conditions. Um, it's challenging to keep Hercules, so everything is in a line, right? Yeah. So what I'm looking at, um, Jake turned off all the lights, but uh, you can uh, see, I'm just going to tilt your camera up here. So then if the Zeus was on Argus, you have to do that, otherwise hit the deck. Um, and I'm just going to turn on this light bank here, which is our aft. So light bank one is the aft light in Atalanta. Okay. So if I'm on par, so our delta is, I'm actually above Atalanta a few meters, three meters. Um, but we're all in a line here, so we're tailed. 